and Duke's babies. And we are five weeks old. Yes, actually we were five weeks old on Monday, so we're between five and six weeks old. Are we rolling over? Are we rolling over? Yeah. Hello. 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 It's Mama. You got a crusty. You got to move it. Doodles in their crusties. Yes. Yeah. So here's Lavender Girl. Hi. Yellow Boy. I'm Yellow Boy. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Excuse me, everybody. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be our most like Professor Raymond here. Our, our um, orange collar boy, probably gonna be the biggest, a little more, um, he's not thick, but he's tall. Yeah, tall like his mama. <laughs> and he's probably our most laid back. I would say next to him is actually, Actually, Lavender here, although she's having a, a playful moment. There's Pink Girl. Hi, Pink Girl. Can we even see her collar? Collars are getting short. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Green is, is also incredibly laid back. Everybody, um, if you get a Bree and Duke dog, you're getting a laid back dog. So there's no such thing as a, a hyper Bree and Duke dog. Yeah. And there's Blue Girl in the back there with the blue bear because we have to match. Accessorize. Accessorize. Yeah. And what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Okay, so we can see we've got white tuxedo there on lavender. And Yellow Boy, whose collar is getting dirty, is also tuxedo. And even, yeah, even Orangey has tuxedo. There's Daphne out there barking. At the kitties. At the kitties. Here's our little green. Yeah. Green boy is incredibly laid back and sweetie Petey. And do we have, yep, yeah, tuxedo there too. We're doing a tuxedo thing. All right. Who's hiding? Who's wanting to go to bed? Here we go. Black. All right. Black boy is incredibly intelligent. Yes. Very, yet very personable and laid back. And I think I love his coloring the best. I love those markings. More tuxedo. Everybody has a little bit of their mama's tuxedo, except for our traditional, what looks like a Daphne and Duke, but is not, is Pink Girl. Pink Girl is just going to be a little bigger of a, of a Daphne and Duke. And you know what? Look at that. Our collar needs to be changed. You've gotten chunky. Chunky baby. Yeah. But our dark ears are going to stay dark, aren't they? Yeah, all right. The only one left is the one over here that really... Yeah, we're playing. We have the socks. That's just our favorite thing to do. Right now, their teeth are coming out. They're just starting on solid. And so are the hard foods. And so they're testing those teeth. Okay, here's our blue girl. She's our darkest girl. And let's see. What are our markings? Nothing on the chest. We have a little white tipping on our toe. Tippy toe, yeah. You're just a tippy toe and you have pieces of fuzz. So our um, most, what we call a, a, a cotton wavy coats are gonna be blue girl and pink girl. Those are gonna be your cotton. Um, oh, and um, an orange boy. Here's our three cottons, cotton wavy. And then we have, nobody has a fleece, but we have a mixture, which is our typical F2B. The Duke and Brie F1BB is actually almost identical to our F2B, Duke and Daphne. Everybody's always telling me, well, aren't they almost back to a poodle? No, they're not. That's not how genetics work. I know a lot of doodle breeders like to say that, but that's not how it works. Um, first of all, it depends on how much poodle is in each of the parents, meaning not what generation they are, but how much of each genetic code they got from each parent that makes them uniquely themselves. And then we mix those, and then we get this. We call it an F1BB, but our F1BB is not going to be everybody else's because we specifically mix certain poodles, certain retrievers in the mix to make them exactly what we want. Then we get the coat we want. So our, our mix coat, which is the mixture of a 
uh, fleece and a cotton is going to be yellow. Yes, yellow. And greeny here. And lavender. And did I say yellow boy? I think yellow is our girl. And I, I just always mess up because I usually make green a girl. Okay, yes. Yellow is a girl. Say, I'm a girl. I don't know if I called her a boy earlier. Sometimes I, I make greens uh, boys and yellows girls. But okay, so green this time is a girl. And, I'm sorry, ugh, yellow is a girl. Green is a boy. And they're very close, but you can see green is going to have a little thicker face there. Yeah, yeah, going to lick me? Or just chew on me? Alright, my disclaimer here is I had bacon for breakfast, so... Yeah, they're liking that, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Yeah. Okay, uh, so here we have yellow girl, green boy, lavender girl, and then black boy. They all have this mixture of a cotton and a fleece. We don't have a fleece coat, and nobody has a poodle coat, but you have more curliness on some versus others right here. And depending on how you groom them, that's how they're going to look like a doodle or a poodle. Never, ever, 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 ever shave the top of the head or the snout if you want your dog to look like a doodle. Any golden doodle can actually look like a poodle if you do that rounded shaving. And I don't know why groomers do it. It kills me. Let it grow out and kind of trim it a little bit right here on the bangs. You can trim a little around the eyes. Let this grow out. Once you start shaving, you're always going to have that poodle look. And a lot of people will say, what's the difference between a, a doodle and a poodle? I say uh, personality, genetics. You're not going to get a poodle with a golden doodle personality. You're just not. And then the looks is a lot about the grooming. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Because I can tell you our, our poodles are nothing like our golden doodles. Nothing at all. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. So we're getting petered out. We've played a lot. And I know I'm giving you all this education on, on hair, but these are usually questions that happen during our puppy picking. And since we're doing puppy picking, I just wanted everybody to know what they're getting. None of these dogs in this litter are going to shed. Everybody will have a shedding capability of some wisps during seasonal times where you're going to have um, a, a dog that might have a little wisp here and there. It's hair, it's not fur. Right? Yeah. But for our owners that are looking for the most hypoallergenic, um, the only thing that would help you with your choice here is if you are allergic to uh, dog saliva or dander, you're going to want to get the more fleece cotton mix and not just the cotton. Because when they lick themselves, uh, that is actually where the dander and the saliva allergy comes in. You're going to want to make sure you get not necessarily a more curly coat, it's the texture of the coat. So those that have asthma should consider more like lavender, 